Okay, here it is out in the sunlight. It is now Sunday morning, um, probably about 10 o'clock. So I do got some issues I need to work on and kind of, oh man, this, sorry. Uh, I had a big run right there. didn't see that last night. So I'm going to take some uh, uh, wet dry sandpaper to it, start working on that and work on this. Um, I did the internal or the door panel here. I really like this. I'm hoping it's going to work out nice with the uh, the door transition. Um, on my curve here, I had a little bit of a problem with the, the paint, so I'm going to have to sand that down too. Um, overall, the line looks good. i got a lot of runs running through here where it came off of the edge. And uh, that side looks fairly good. It's got a little bit of a, a run to it. I'm going to get some more rattle can and get up under there with the rattle can. Uh, I did that with uh, one can that I had. It was actually just a couple, a couple sprays, but uh, uh, you know what? I like that better, so I'm gonna do that. Well, son of a gun! I actually got a chip there. I, uh, I know exactly when this happened too. I was walking in the garage, and uh, I had my phone in my back pocket, and I hit the truck through the, uh, the plastic, and sure enough, I gave it a little bit of a, a kiss. Let's see. If, I don't know how to fix that. I guess it'll be a, a little while. Anyway, I'm going to go inside the garage. I've got, um, so I was sanding, and then I got a little board, and then I started sanding and wet sanding the uh, inner fenders that go pretty much right here. So I've got those in black right now. I'm waiting for some of this to dry, because some of these runs are still a little tacky, and I can't, uh, I don't want to start sanding on them and get them all nasty. So I'll take in the garage. Well, I'm putting clear down, and I had hair off of my head blow off right into the paint job. So right when I was doing clear, I'm sure I could sand it out for a little of pain. Some of this looks outstanding for, you know, me not knowing what I'm doing. Um, super smooth right here, a couple other spaces, but then I get into some spots and I've got a nice bit of orange peel going. I think it's a lot to do with how I'm handling the gun, so the, the paint gun. So like there's orange peel on this one. I'm having to reach over to get to it, but some of this stuff that I can get right up next to it's looking really good. But, you know, I'm learning. But so far this is looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my second coat here in a moment and uh, maybe do a third. I don't know, these are going inside the, um, under the hood. You know, inner fenders, the underside that did not paint because I'm going to put an undercoating on them. Um, but these actually came out so much better than I thought they were going to. Okay, I'm going to let these sit overnight and uh, dry up. I've got uh, three coats of clear on there. It was pretty heavy clear. Um, overall, they look really good. I mean, obviously, I've got my hair right there and um, a couple runs here and there, but I'm... I'm actually pretty pleased with how things are going. Um, different tip in the nozzle and different air pressure and just trying a couple different things. Um, just trying to find my groove in this. So anyway, I talked to uh, Carrie Lamary. I don't know how to say his last name, but uh, um, talked to him a little bit about all this. And I was probably just in a rush with um, the red that reflection. Interesting. So, all right, well, I'm going to get inside and have dinner and do some homework. And then I'll get back out here tomorrow. I'm going to let these dry. I'll wet sand these at a later date. I just wanted to get them finished since I was stuck waiting on that cab to dry a little bit. So I'm going to put these, uh, once they're dry, I'm going to put them upstairs and let them sit for a while until I get to that point in the project. Because I can always wet sand in the cold. I can't paint when it's cold, though. So, all right, that's it for now. Be jealous. Anyway, the story of this uh, Jewish apple cake is um, a couple days ago, I was, I think it was the same day I still had uh, uh, painted the, the inside. Um, I saw a dog running down the street by itself and, and uh, no tags or anything. And I was able to catch the dog. And um, anyway, the older man that owns the dog uh, stopped by today and gave me this uh, Jewish apple cake. In, in thanks for uh, saving his little girl. So I'm definitely going to eat a lot of it, but I'm going to make sure that my neighbors get some too. So. Okay, the uh, wet sanding or color sanding is done, so I'm about ready to tape off. I actually got to blow out this to make sure that I get all the 
leftovers out. Um, show you my uh, air fenders here. I mean, look at that reflection. This is, I probably should have done this earlier in daylight, but yeah, this is a uh, this is the inner fenders. I think they look awesome, and I haven't even color sanded or uh, wet sanded these yet, or cut buffed. I just took them out of the, the paint booth for now. So anyway, I'm gonna get uh, get cleaning up on this, and then tape it up. Um, instead of making a humongous mess, I just destroyed an old uh, Kmart towel that I have had for over 10 years. It's red paint, seriously. Not I didn't murder anybody. But uh, all right, I'll bring you back as soon as I go to push this into the uh, into the booth. Well, I was going to paint, and I got everything all ready, taped off, ready to go, and then I started putting a tiny light coat on a couple places, and here we go. So obviously my base coat was not cured from earlier. Um, I didn't use any solvents or anything on this when I went to sand this down today. I mean, I literally just wet sanded, and then that was it. So now here we are. I've got even more of a frick up than before, so now I've got a wait for all this and I gotta sand even more this is getting ridiculous so I'm not happy right now all right folks just sitting here brainstorming with Carrie LaMary and uh you know what I used a fast um reducer this time so don't do what I did use a medium the first time think it cured and it really didn't and then I put the fast cure because it's a little cooler out today it's like 55 um, and I only plan to do a couple little spots, but don't do what I did. Don't, uh, mix the two because here's what happened. The, I bet you the, um, fast reducer sucked right into the, uh, the paint below and crinkled up. So now I'm gonna have to sand all this shit off and, and, uh, start working again. So, but it wasn't like a complete loss because right here I'd missed a spot. Uh, when I was doing the painting the other day, and it it went great right here. I had sanded all this down, ready for another top coat. Looks great, no problem. This part right here, I had missed also, but apparently I had too much of a wet paint in there. And let's see, I sanded all that. That I'd sanded down to the um, to the uh, primer. And that looks fine because there's no paint there. So I put a lot of light coat there and same thing here. This was all sanded. That was sanded down. So I was just planning on doing a light coat from the spots just to kind of catch it up to where it is. And you can see the biggest culprit. Like I didn't get all of this out because this is all going to be covered by a little uh, plate that goes right there. Well. It crinkled so obviously that underneath was not dry enough and sure enough that uh, fast reducer got in there and decided to get her skin this up so all right well I'm gonna have to fix this but I'm not doing it today and I'm not doing it tomorrow I am probably gonna pull the plastic and everything else and set this aside for a couple days or so because I'm pretty pissed and I just got to walk away from it so I'll go do something else instead Look, this is not necessarily an epic fail on anything. You know, I was pretty mad earlier because of what happened, but I'm not a pro, and I'm having to learn, and learning that this thing is so delicate that uh, anything you do can affect it. So just don't do what I did and learn the lesson, and all right, well, it puts me back a little bit longer on what I wanted to get done, but uh, I'm going to pull the plastic and let it sit. I'm not going to play with it for a couple days, uh, maybe not even until next week, and then I'm just going to work on something else. I've got truck bed I need to get sandblasted. I've got a, I've got a couple fenders up top side that need to get uh, worked on. One needs some welding, and the course port needs some work, and... Uh, you know, it wasn't a complete epic failure this week because my inner fenders came out outstanding. I'm still pretty impressed with those. I'm still impressed with the cab exterior. You know, the red obviously was a learning curve, and, and I need to uh, to get past that. But it is what it is, and I'll figure it out. But uh, anyway, don't do what I did, all right? Um, I know everybody is going to get, well, don't do this. You know, you should have known better. Well, I'm not a pro. You people do this for a living. Some of you do. I don't know, just doing what I do at work and 
make people push the earth until it spins the other way is pretty much what I do right now. So, anyway, I'm gonna go upload and I'm gonna sit down and eat that apple cake. Pretty much all of it because it's emotional eating right now because I fucked this up. So, sorry, I'm not saving any for you, but uh, alright, you guys have a good night. I'll be back in a couple days. I still got a half the week left on, on leave, so I'll bring back for uh, another video, alright? Y'all take care.